is the current status to the uh, immigration law for people who are studying in the STEM programs? Okay. Uh, this past Thanksgiving, the President announced a whole bunch of initiatives under his executive action policy. The most press was given to the DACA program and the DACA programs, but there's actually a list of maybe seven or eight other policies that you want to affect. One of those was to fix this visa bulletin system, this visa waiting system. Maybe if you're here already, maybe you apply for the you can apply for the permanent residency, at least get a work permit while you wait. Another fix <coughs> is going to be how to keep people with specialized knowledge. That means science, technology, engineering, mathematics, STEM individuals. Now unfortunately, that was going to be delayed, that was going to be announced later this year, and it looks like it's going to be even more. The government is actually, what they do is they will publish um, a notice in the regulations and ask for public comments. And so this past couple months ago, they asked for comments on how to implement this visa fix. And eventually they'll also ask for comments on how to help these STEM individuals. And the public will comment, send in thousands of comments, the government will look at all the concerns, suggestions, and then implement the program. Okay. So right now, nothing's changed. If you're in a STEM field and you're going to school, then you have your optional practical training option, which is a work permit you get while you're in school or right after you graduate. And you can get that for up to 29 months. Or you look for a specialized work visa like H-1B or O-1 or something else. Okay. My, my parents are U.S. citizens. My uh, two kids, U.S. born. I have work permit right now. And my father already petitioned in 2003. So should I go for the DAPA or should I go for the green card? Because my father already petitioned in 2003. That's a very important question because like I said, there are parallel tracks. There's how do I stay here and work right now on one side and then the green card on the other side. DACA, DAPA, these are not permanent statuses. This is not a green card. This isn't even a regular lawful status. It's not like being here on a visitor visa or a student visa or an H-1B. This is just a work permit, and you're telling the government, I'm here, I'm not here lawfully, and they're not going to deport you, at least under the current administration. So this is for somebody who has nothing else. I can get, I can register, I can get a work permit, at least I have something. But if you have a permanent residency option, you should definitely take that permanent residency option. Okay? Or if you have a chance to stay legal, then, I mean, it depends on your circumstances, but I, was always, I always say, always have more flexibility if you maintain legal status and not go into these programs, because then, technically, these are not legal. 